welcome to today's daily vlog. Our day started at the Canadian Institute for the Blind where I picked up a new braille stylus. And basically what that is, it's like a portable brailler, but way, like way off cost, right? Like a brailler is, you know, four to 800. A stylus is only 12 bucks. Plus the other thing I bought for an additional uh, 11, $10. Anyway, we're back on the 60 FPS camera, also known as the Sony PJ670. Love this camera. I am bringing it out of retirement because got to give the DSLR a break. Plus, um, you know, the, it gets, classics. it's the classics, right? Anyway, we're going to go feed the kids. we got some hungry kiddos in the back. Mm. Yeah, got to go get some. Sarah's like, I'll agree with that. We're going to go eat at a burger joint. Originally, we were thinking Subway, but the Subway location that we were going to, we had a bad experience last time, so it deters us from wanting to go back there again. So we're going to go to a burger joint not too far away from it. place we went to was called Fat Burger and it was as always delicious I'm probably 10 pounds heavier but I don't mind food is the true secret of happiness managed to meet this guy Cameron here's a little clip I took I couldn't take a longer clip because they were playing copyrighted music cool but yeah that's what it looks like it's HD but explain HD to, to a blind person right <laughs> oh geez so oh. Uh, why, why don't you tell us what your YouTube channel is and I'll put it in the vlog uh, random caller Nice. Cool. <laughs> uh, now we are on our way to go pick up the niece and nephews. We're babysitting them for the next half an hour. Uh, my sister's out and about doing sister stuff, so she needs me to babysit. Which is it's all right. I don't mind. No, yeah, it, it, it's like you have a it's like you have a secret sibling pact. I'm hoping that when we need a babysitter, we can lean on her too. And I think that's how siblings think, right? You don't babysit for money. You babysit for exchange if, babysitting. Exactly. <laughs> babysit for babysitting exchanges, right? So parents, if you have kids of your own and you need a babysitter, ask your friend who also has kids. And if they do it, ask them if you can have an exchange where you get to babysit for them while they go and have a romantic date or do whatever they do. And then when it's your turn, they'll babysit for you in return. Because let's be honest, right? Money really complicates things. Money destroys friendships. Money is evil, unfortunately, but it does make the world go round. That was the best 40 some dollars we ever spent. Right, you know what was it like? Okay. Anyway, back to the beautiful city that is Red Deer. <laughs> the CNIB earlier today and I got myself a braille stylus. Now the CNIB is the Canadian Institute for the Blind and uh, you know CNIB advocates for people with visual impairments and if you're in America that's exactly kind of like uh, AFB. So I'm going to show you what I got and it is called a stylus. Now I got a combo pack. I got a slate and stylus. This I believe is the slate and this thing 
would be the stylus. What happens is you basically, with your braille paper, I don't know if the camera can see those little holes, but with the braille paper, you basically push in your braille cells and then you braille. And the interesting thing about the braille stylus is you have to braille backwards because when you flip the paper over, you'll be reading it uh, forwards, if that makes any sense. It's still a mind boggle in my head. It makes sense, but when I try to start doing the moves, doing the right things, I lose everything. <laughs> so I want to be learning this for the next few days. I'm going to spend about 10 minutes a day learning this. So this is about $23.90. So $23.90 to get these guys. And yeah, it's adorable, but I like it. Hopefully I'll get the hang of it in a few weeks. I've, I've heard about this gentleman who lives in Calgary. His name's Brian. And Brian uses a stylus like no tomorrow. I hear when you when he's styling, when he's uh, brailing with that little guy, it's like um, it's like watching a legend because he's really good. Anyway, we're picking up the cousins here and uh, probably take them to my place, hang out with them for a bit. But before I get the video uploaded, I wanted to talk about camera gear and YouTube gear in general. In my opinion, I think. What shines through any camera gear you have, anything, is your personality. I was always under the impression if I got the newest camera, if I got the best audio, I would have amazing videos. Sometimes you can have the best gear in the world, but it's not going to make your style any better. Because when it comes down to it, it's all about your personality. It's all about what you're willing to put into this world and what people are going to watch, right? You can have the greatest video in the world, but then you can also have the most horrible audio. Unfortunately, people won't stay for that video because the audio, in my opinion, is more important than that of the video quality. Now, today's video is shot in 60 FPS, but this particular clip, I'm holding a camera off screen. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm holding my smartphone, and I'm using the audio from my smartphone instead of the audio from the Panasonic PJ670 because the audio on the uh, camera itself isn't bad but sometimes it catches a lot of the reverb noise so off camera I'm actually holding my smartphone I'm talking into my smartphone and recording another video but I'm just also talking into this so I sound better so let me just remind you it doesn't matter how horrible your equipment is what matters is the story you tell and audio. Make sure your audio sounds really, really good. You know, especially for people like me who are listening to your video. I'm not actually watching your video because I can barely see myself. So I'm actually just listening to your video. And in my opinion, audio will always do better than video. And, you know, working in radio for five years has something to do with it too. <laughs> but anyway, as always, subscribe for good times. Uh, we are at a thousand subscribers. That is amazing. Still no winner on the Amazon gift card. So that means everybody that I've tried to give the gift card to, the channel, their channels are either unactive or they're not checking their YouTube inbox. So the next winner could be you. You never know. All right. Hit that subscribe button. It's your buddy JR reminding you to be cool, be kind, and above all, be yourself because it's who we love.